In this lesson, we're going to see our application in action and also we'll give a quick glance at the stats provided by Talkbox. So, using the terminal, navigate to your folder project and don't forget to export the open talk keys that you get when you create your Talkbox project. Those values are Talkbox API key and Talkbox secret. Be sure to use the values that you get for your own project. Now, once we have those values set, we need to run the app. To do so, we will execute node server.js. Now, let's open the application. We're going to put localhost 3000 and another tab, localhost 3000. In here, we're going to set the room name to WebRTC Training. And we're going to do the same in the other tab, WebRTC Training. And as you can see, no, I'm going to lower the volume because I'm getting feedback. As you can see, we get the call established in both tabs. And Talkbox provides some features out of the box which allow us to mute our media without having to add any additional code. Note that there's a red dot glowing in the lower part and the archiving on message. This means that Talkbox is automatically recording this call so we can check it out later. So we're going to use some stuff in here. Let's open a developer. A developer console. And we're going to type here the session ID. We have this number, which is the ID of the session that we're using. We're going to copy this value. And now we can close the call. We can go to the Talkbox dashboard. If we go to the, if we scroll down, we will set the session inspector. Let's click on go to session inspector and we will open a new tab. In this tab, we can paste the ID of the session and click on search. And in here, we have all the statistics about the call that we have just created. First, we have the summary and statistics section, which provides a, a high level overview of the events of the session. The information available in this section includes the session type, the start and end time, the number of users, the number of users, streams, connections, and subscribers, and the graph of the streaming minutes, issues, SDKs, and endpoints. Then we have users data. This allows to identify who is who along some basic information such as the location, operating system, and browser, and also the SDK version. We can also see the connections and streams IDs. If there's any errors with the session, we could see them in the error section. For this, sec for, for this session, there was no error, so there's nothing shown in here. We also, we also have some graphs for quality metrics that cover bitrate, packet loss, and latency. And finally, we got a detailed event log with some filtering capabilities. So if we want to look all the server events, we can just type servers. And we will get only the results that contain the word server in here, in the, in the event. So all these tools will help you to diagnose the issues that may appear in a call. Now, there's another thing that I would like to show you, and it's the recording feature. Earlier, I mentioned about a setting at session creation that tells Talkbox to automatically start recording calls. 
This is where we can see the results of these recordings. I have some already created, but in your case, you should give the platform a few minutes for creating yours. By default, these are stored temporarily in the OpenTalk platform, but you can configure cloud services to get permanent storage. So same as the first chapter, see if you can take this really simple application and implement a client-side framework, maybe React or maybe Angular or maybe Vue, and also try to implement some authentication and authorization for joining a call. You can use Firebase for that feature. Once you're done, send me a short video explaining how your application works and then move to the next chapter. See you there.